Hello lovelies, I am Nyx. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, today we have a bit of a different video for you. I am here in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I have been playing this quite a bit, um, so I've already made a significant amount of progress. Not like a crazy ton, but I am not at the beginning stages of the game. I just wanted to preface that so that if you watch this video, uh, just be aware that there might be spoilers for some of the content if you guys are playing this early access, because this game still is early access. Obviously, like, there's going to be a lot more that will come uh, to the game. Probably a lot of things that are going to change about the game as well and new content that will continue to be added but um if you are playing the early access version i just wanted to like preface to tell you guys that i am a bit farther so i didn't um want anybody to have anything spoiled if they're planning to play this for themselves anytime soon before the actual game release in 2023. But if you guys like this video and you want to see more um, Disney Dreamlight Valley content from me in the future, please leave a like and comment down below to let me know if you want to see more or what other games you would like to see me play. Hi Goofy! And with that being said, uh, let's just get right into the video. So I haven't done any like crazy decorating or anything yet. Um, I do have several um, friends in my town already. You start with Goofy and Mickey already here. I what Goofy's up to. Um, but I did move Maui and Moana if you see in. Moana, tell her Maui says you're welcome. <laughs> I will Maui. Um, so I moved Maui and Moana in, and then we also have Wally. His house, as you can see, is right over there, kind of close to where my house is. Uh, I have not gotten Remy yet, and I just unlocked the beach. So I was going to um, do a quest to decorate the meadow for Scrooge, however... For Scrooge McDuck. However, I think I just want to do a casual let's play of this. So we're working on this quest for Moana right now that you can see in the top uh, left corner of the screen. I need to find more softwood and make a bunch of fiber to help her fix her broken boat. So that is going to be the goal of this video today, I think. Uh, unless I get bored and I decide to do another quest instead. But... Yeah, that's that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Ignore all of the random holes. This is me. I've been like digging things up as the spots show up. I don't always fix them right away. But if you do dig up a hole, uh just hit Y. I am playing on Switch, by the way. Um hit Y to basically redig that hole again and it will cover the dirt spot up kind of like how in animal crossing you like press the same button to cover up the hole as you do to dig i really lucked out my neighbors are great and then you can usually talk to your friends every day. So I'm like level five friendship with Mickey. So we can hang out. That will boost our friendship score. Typically, you can give them gifts as well. Um, so every day down there, it will say things that um, Mickey's favorite gifts are. So he does like sunflowers today. Um, those are found on the beach, so I actually might grab one and gift one to him. Uh, but you can also talk to them, and that will also boost their friendship score. You know, as an actor, I've gotten to do all sorts of fun jobs. If you're curious about any of them, I'd be happy to tell you. Um, tell me about the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Gosh, that one was a lot of work. Carrying all those water buckets was harder than it looked. But it got really fun after I made that big mistake. What mistake? Uh -huh. 
well, I tried to do some magic and it kind of got out of hand. Oh gosh, it sure is nice today. And that gave him friendship points. I absolutely love this game so far. I'm having a blast with it. I've been playing this way more than I've been playing Animal Crossing. Kind of been feeling a little bit burnt out on AC lately. So I've been playing some Disney Dreamlight instead and I really enjoy the game. If you guys like seeing me play this, I actually might start making this regular content on my channel. Uh, especially because the game is still early access, I think it would be really cool to... I've never really played a game like this early on before in its lifespan. Even with Animal Crossing, I joined like a month after it had already been out. Uh, so, I mean, I didn't get this, like, launch day, but I did get it, like, maybe a week after it came out. So. Still pretty early. I did buy the cheapest, so. Good morning to you! So, for, to get early access, it is not free. The game will be free when it's, um, launched, I believe. But, essentially, to get it early access, you have to buy Founders Packs. And they have, like... I believe a $30, $50, and $70 option, and I just bought the $30 base game, um, basically because a lot of the other stuff is cosmetic. I didn't think it was really necessary, and I'm having just as much fun as somebody who had bought the $70 version probably would have. But um, obviously, if you cannot afford that, there is no problem with you waiting until a little bit later. I just have no self-control and I buy things that I probably shouldn't be and just spend my money on uh that bunny is so cute I love how they hop around like that it's it's adorable um but I have no self-control so I just like buy the random games when I see them on sale or if I really want them like I will drop a lot of money on a game to play it uh, but that doesn't mean that you should feel that you need to do that or like I know that I'm coming from a little bit of a place of privilege and I like I understand that so I'm not I don't want to like brag about it or anything or make anybody feel bad if they can't get the game but also like Please don't make people feel bad if they decided to buy this because I think people should be allowed to do what they want with their money, especially if they're adults and it's their own money that they're spending. They should be able to choose how to spend that money. And I choose to spend mine on video games and things for uh, myself that I enjoy. I spend my money and my extra spending money on um, entertainment for myself. I don't do that with everything. Like, I still pay my bills and, and things, but I will spend extra spending money instead of saving it necessarily on just, like, entertainment things for myself because it brings me joy, and I, I like that. But, again, going off of that, if you don't... If you don't want to spend the money for the game, just wait until the free version comes out. I know you'll have to wait a while, but I honestly, like, there's bugs, there's glitches, the game randomly crashes sometimes. I've been in the middle of, like, a quest before where the game will just randomly stop working and it will just, like, glitch out and then have to close and sometimes I lose a little bit of my progress. Not, like, a ton, but it happens occasionally, uh, which can be a little bit frustrating or annoying if, um, you know, you're, like, trying to progress quickly or you're, like, really into the thick of it and you have to restart the game. Um, and then there's also just, like, things that will glitch or, like, little bugs that are happening because it's still early access. So having, playing early games in early access, obviously, is very different than playing them after they actually launch. And since there will be changes, like, I don't think people are really missing out on that much right now because, yeah, they're not, like, testing the game in the early stages, but... 
Um, they will probably be getting the game for free later on. And they will also... They also won't have to deal with the all of the bugs and like glitches and stuff that others probably would. Like that I'm going to have to deal with and some of the other players might have to deal with. Um, however, obviously like make, make whatever decision you want to make about whether you play this game or not. And if you don't like it, that's fine too. Like this game obviously isn't for everybody. I'm just a huge Disney fan and I have been my entire life. Yeah, we'll set the stall up. Sounds good to me. I did have a lot more gold, but I spent a lot of it on clothing. So I'm kind of the opposite in here than I am in Animal Crossing. In in AC, I tend to buy way more furniture items than I do clothing items. But in here, I've tended to buy a lot more clothing items than I have furniture items. Maybe it's just because I haven't gotten into like the thick of decorating yet because I don't have a lot of items. Um, I've also just wanted to play the game to play the game and not focus so much on decorating since that's pretty much all that I do in Animal Crossing. But I am very much enjoying this game. I think it's really fun. But yeah, I hope that you can like turn on and off the multiplayer. That would just make it nice, I think. How's it going? What is this? Sugar cane seeds. Okay, I need those for my quest with Bali. So we're gonna buy those. Wow! Ooh. So we have the wheat and sugar cane seeds, and then we'll have to craft a trellis and burlap bag. So we might actually do that instead of worrying about this quest for Moana, just because I think we can finish this one a little bit quicker. Let's see how much fiber we can make. So you can make five per piece of seaweed, it looks like. Oh, cool. And then from there, you can make, like, rope and different things. The only thing that I've crafted so far that hasn't been for a quest is chests to put my extra items in so I don't have to keep running back to my home or selling them constantly. So we have to cra craft burlap bags and a trellis, which means we need to get more fiber. So we do need more seaweed. And... We need white and pink falling penstemon, however you say that flower name. We just need two of those, so that shouldn't be too hard. I think we only have to craft one trellis too. Um, so yeah, we're going to go focus on that then. We do have to get a ton of seaweed, so... We're probably going to spend a lot of time fishing, which means I might spend time with... Goofy to up his friendship score because you can assign the different um, residents of Dream Lake Valley different like activities to do with them. Oh, Wally's so cute sitting on the bench. Look at him. He's adorable. Uh, but you can like assign them different activities that they'll gain extra points or like give you extra buffs for doing with them when you hang out. So I'm going to see if I can find oh, gosh. It sure is nice where Goofy went. Um, quick tip, if you can't find them, look at your map to find them quickly. You can also select them and go to their location that way. We'll talk to him first. Whoa. Uh, how do you stay so cheerful all the time? Well, I'm not always cheerful, but I try to be. If I'm feeling down, I try to think about a real good memory of spending time with my friends. I'm sure to put a big smile on my face. So wholesome. How's it going? And then let's hang out, Goofy. Whoa! Goodbye. 
so when you hang out with them, they just follow you around as you do things. Um, they don't necessarily like do it with you, which I'm kind of hoping they change that in the future because it would be nice to like actually be able to fish with them and like garden with them and things. I think it would be really cute to see them actually doing the activity as well. But yeah, uh, let's go fish because we need seaweed. Also, this is kind of like Animal Crossing where the items in Scrooge's shop will change like every day. Same with like what Goofy's selling on a daily basis, although he usually just sells uh, like the crops and stuff that you buy seeds for or like some for you if you need to make a recipe or whatever. Oh, nice. My inventory is full. So we're actually going to have to sell things to Goofy. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Then I forgot that I got this uh, clothing bag in my that I picked up. So I have to, you have to go into your inventory to open that. I will probably never wear those, but thanks anyway, game. So we do have to craft um, Merlin, or cook Merlin, a two-star dish as well. So we might actually go try doing that because I'm pretty sure. Wow! I wish all. My I'm pretty sure there's a meal like a recipe that you can craft with just carrots, that's two stars. So we might go do that quick and then go back to fishing. But I'm gonna look here first before I go all the way back to my house. Ooh, I didn't even know it would make vegetable soup, but all right, I'll take it. That works. It wasn't what I was planning to craft, but it also um, puts little icons in the bottom right corner if you need that item for a quest. Oh, we have fish that I didn't even see. We can sell those. I also increased my pocket space because it was kind of annoying me how like little I was able to carry before. How's it going? see what are the items that goofy wants today catfish i already sold that that's fine i'll tell him we can hang out later let's see we'll talk to wally first oh it's a toaster yeah, those are the dials. You turn them to set how you toasted it. How toasted you want your toast. Wait, you probably don't know what toast is. Toast is bread that you cook and then eat. <laughs> He's so cute. Bread is human food. It gives us energy. Like you get energy from the sun. Uh, let's see what Wally wants today. Don't have any of that. Let's check Moana. I just want to make you sure know you're practically everyone's card. hero here. Are you okay, Moana? I was just thinking about my grandma. I still really miss her. You always have her memory. You're right, and that's really comforting. She wouldn't want me to stay sad, and I won't. But she was important. I don't want my heart to forget her. See you soon. It was really cute because um, during the quest to like get Moana to come and live with you, you go uh, or to live on Dreamlight. Uh, you go on a boat with her to like look for a good fishing spot for her village and her grandma 
is um, swimming in and out of the water as the um, stingray that she turns into after she dies. Oh, I thought that was a really hello. cute touch. I was so wrapped up in my studies, I must have forgotten to eat. Oh. No wonder I became so frustrated. Thank you, Nyx. Ah, and friendship score increased with Merlin because I completed the quest with him. Oh, actually, I think you have to fish off to the side if you want to get seaweed. So we're just going to do that. I need to eat something to replenish my stamina. <laughs> so every task that you do in here will drain your stamina. So you need to make sure that you have food on you all the time or go back into your house. But if you don't want to have to walk all the way back home, I would recommend just carrying some consumable items on your person for you to be able to eat when you run low on stamina. Have you seen my pal, Donald Duck? No, because Donald hasn't shown up yet, Goofy. You're being kind of creepy, Goofy. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. Okay, good. He's not following me. I had to turn around and make sure. That I heard him behind me. I was very paranoid for a second. I was like, why is he following me? I did not ask him to hang out. Also, that's a figure of Minnie that we keep seeing around. That happens later in the story. We are gonna give Mickey that sunflower that I was oh, talking gosh. about before it though. Sure is nice today. The nice thing is you can also gift them multiple times in one day. Is that like Animal Crossing where you can only give them one thing per day? Awesome. So now we gotta go find Wally and bring him his items so that he can make his garden. There goes my cat again. Hello, Hermione. I will get off soon, don't worry. Oh, I put the seeds in my storage, I think. He needed... Which seeds does he need? Wheat seeds, okay. I think that's in my home storage. Now I can get from the items. 
Can't wait to see what you do with it. Oh, that's so cute. Wally will now tend to his own garden. Make sure to visit the garden regularly to harvest his crops. Upgrade the garden to increase its capacity and efficiency. Hello. 1,000 for the first one. We can do that. Bye-bye, Nut. <laughs> All right. I and I think that's... My money bin. I think that's actually going to be it for this playthrough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed playing. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you would. I would really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in a future Disney Dreamlight Valley video. But until then, Minnie and I say see you in the next one. Bye.